Hi guys and welcome back. Adam here and another uh, product review. The product I'm reviewing today is a Bosch C3 battery charger. Um, so it's been almost 10 years, so short of two months and it will complete 10 years. Within the 10 years, I have used this charger in, intensively. I use it in multiple vehicles, I use it on, in multiple batteries. I even uh, had it uh, borrowed by friends and family to, uh, to use in their vehicles whenever they had a battery issues. The, the, the product is a very fantastic product and that's why actually I would like to review it. Uh, recently with the Corona, uh, the Corona, the COVID-19 uh, break, breakout and uh, the, the lockdown, I use this uh, almost on a permanent basis on my vehicles to keep the battery charged. Um, and I actually, I just unplugged it from my BM uh, to do this review. Um, why this charger? This is actually where 10 years ago, I was basically looking at different, different makes and I ended, ended up settling on, on this charger for the following reasons. The charger has, um, it's an intelligent charger, which it means it has a built-in macro uh, computing unit or MCU, which control, it monitors the charge and depending on the, 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 the battery status, um, especially in a 12 volt mode, it will uh, uh, select the pulse, uh, the, the pulse charge or the trickle charge. Pulse charge generally is when your battery is on the flat side, and uh, according to the specs on this uh, on this charger, it will be when your battery between eight and ten and a half uh, volt, the pulse charge will kick in to uh, to charge the battery. When the battery is uh, uh, 10 and a half and above, the, basically the charger will switch to uh, what is called the trickle charge or the maintenance charge. And this charger actually is so safe that you can uh, plug it in permanently. And I'm saying with confidence here, within the past few months, it's been permanently from car to car on my, uh, on my vehicles. Uh, to maintain maintain charge or say let's let's say top up charge my, my uh, the batteries on my vehicles. Um, the the charger has a couple of safety uh, uh, features such as overheating uh, protection, which it it's basically it switch off the charger and doesn't allow actually overheat uh, uh, the, the charger going into the overheating. It also has a reverse polarity. Uh, uh, protection, which it's it, it's basically uh, the charger is not going to damage if you accidentally install the, the 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 clamps on the wrong pole on the battery poles. Let's go and see what this charger offers. Okay, so as I said, this is an intelligent charger with a, a MCU built in, and it has a four uh, charging mode, uh, a six volt, okay, and a twelve volt and AGM. So if we look here, we'll see uh, basically once we, we, we plug the, the charger on, we have the light, this light will, uh, there's a LED light around the mode button, which will, will go in blue. And this is a stand, a stand a standby mode. Once the standby mode uh, on, we have to select the, the mode that we want to charge. So we have the six volt, uh, and this is basically is selected for batteries uh, of uh, six volt and uh, with a capacity less than 14 amp, such as alarm batteries, uh, uh, electrical fence batteries, and gate batteries, and so on. Um, in this state, the 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 charger basically charges at 7.2 volt, 0.8 amp. Okay. Now for Larger battery, we have then the next mode, which is basically uh, when you select it, this light of the 12 volt will light. However, you will be uh, on the selection here or the motorcycle icon, which is a 12 volt with bat uh, the, the battery, uh, uh, 12 volt batteries with a capacity of less than 14 amp. Okay. And the charging here will be again a 14.4 uh, volt and the 0.8 amp. Uh, you cycle again on the on the button or you press the button 
a third press, it will take you to the car icon. And in this um, in this mode, basically, you, the battery charges at four. Uh, this is actually uh, it charges 12 volt batteries with a capacity of greater than 14 amp up to 120 amp. Uh, I use it actually on on heavy batteries, my 4x4s, and also my camping batteries. And in that mode, the charge voltage will be 14.4 uh, volt and 3.8 amp. Then the force mode basically is the EGM uh, batteries. So it has a function to, uh, it has the ability to uh, charge EGM batteries and the charge uh, the charging day would be for battery with capacity more than 14 amp and a 12 volt AGM battery with a, uh, a capacity more than 14 amp. Uh, and the charge in the state is 14.7 uh, volt and 3.8 amp. Okay. So it, I haven't used it really on the AGM, but I have used it on the other battery because this uh, charge it's, you're able to charge AGM, lead acid, which is your normal regular batteries, car batteries, and you have the gel type batteries, which is more mainly the uh, batteries such as the one you get into the gates and uh, get motors and, and so on. And I have used it uh, to, to charge this, this type of batteries. How do you hook it on? Basically, in uh, uh, it has a sequence that you have to to basically to adhere to. First, you need to connect the uh, positive uh, to your positive battery. Connect the black to the negative. Then connect the uh, the mains. Once the main is connected, you will end up with. Uh, this light basically or the ring light around the mode buttons blinking in uh, the blue or basically you are in the standby mode okay and you do your selection as we previously uh, mentioned and when you press the button this button will turn in the green uh, this button here will turn flickering green on whatever mode you're in, which it means is charging. And then this button, which it says OK, it will turn green uh, steady when you, your battery is fully charged. Reverse polarity, we mentioned that. Uh, this is basically for the reverse polarity protection. If you reverse the connections, the, uh, the charge is not going to damage and it will give you this light will light and the charger will stay in standby. Okay, how do you switch it off? First thing first, you need to go in the opposite sequence. So you need to press this button to go into the standby mode. Okay, and I will mention why Why now. You need to go into the uh, standby mode. From the standby mode, you, you remove uh, the main and then you remove your, your uh, battery clamps, basically, which is gonna be uh, red first and then uh, earth first, uh, earth second. Okay. What happens if you don't follow this disconnection mode? The, the charger has a memory function. The memory function, if you unplug the main by pulling the main or removing the clamps, the charger will go in a standby mode. And once you kill the power of it, it will memorize the last state or the last battery uh, mode it was charging, which is if you're charging a car battery in a 12 volt mode, for example, uh, that is we, we and the, 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 the capacity of the battery of a greater amage, such as say, for example, 80, 60, 80 amp, what will happen the next time you plug, be plugging to uh, the charger, you have, uh, a potential to have an accident if you have a charge uh, uh, if you're charging a 12 volt battery with a less less amp than the previous battery so you'll end up with overcharge uh, so this is very important to remember when uh, disconnecting if you have only single battery uh, one car or and you're not worried about you know you don't have many batteries to to hop between then don't worry about this function. It's just mainly if you are using it for uh, a garage or you have many batteries, many type of battery, like a motor, motorcycle battery and you have uh, car batteries to charge. So you need to just watch out for, for this point. Uh, 
the the charger comes with this uh, crocodile clamps basically and the lead is about two two meter or six feet and uh, the main plug which is also on a lead of uh, two meter or six feet um, one thing to mention about the the charger the charger will not charge if your battery less than six volt so if your battery less than six volt the charger is not going to charge it whenever you connect the charger to it it will stay in a standby mode uh, and will do nothing so how to rectify that in my case whenever i have a very flat battery i either jump start the car okay get get it starting to get a little bit of charge in it then i hook this charger and i end up doing the repair uh, or the charger doing the, the the repair cycle on the battery and i end up getting the battery into a full uh, charge capacity so basically that's it guys uh, i hope you uh, have uh, enjoyed this video and then if you have please comment below like and subscribe for future videos thank you very much and stay safe